Scotty McCreary was just 16 years old when he wooed America with his deep voice and country charm. So I'm coming over, I hope it's all right. Listen for me pulling in the old drive. After more than 100 million votes were cast, he clinched the title in season 10 of American Idol. But Scotty says he almost didn't try out for the show because of church camp. I grew up in the church. That's actually where I started singing, was there doing the children's musicals and all that stuff. It's been a great foundation for me through life, and I'm glad I got started young. When I was uh, deciding to audition for Idol, we were looking at dates, and Nashville had an audition that year uh, for a city. I had a, uh, a youth retreat at Camp Castle uh, down in North Carolina. Uh, I was like, man, I've gone to this, I've gone every year to Castle. I'm not going to miss Castle to go get cut from some TV show. I mean, I wasn't expecting any of this to happen. Instead, Scotty tried out in Milwaukee just a few weeks later. But making it as a finalist on American Idol was grueling. Scotty told us his secret for staying focused and enduring the long competition. Uh, you know, just really staying in the Word. That was kind of the, the biggest thing for me out there in L.A. Uh, you know, I, I had my Bible right by my nightstand every night before bed. and uh, So, you know, leaning on God, leaning on my faith, it, it was a, a great thing for me. Just kind of giving that boost of confidence, that reassurance. Um, and, and kind of just took some nerves away. You know, I'm going to go do my best. If it works out, it does. If not, uh, it doesn't. So. Uh, Luckily, it worked out, and I think this is all in his plan, and, and uh, we're having a good time. Winning the competition catapulted Scotty's career as he quickly established himself as one of country's newest stars. In five years, he has sold nearly 2.5 million albums, with three of them reaching number one on the country music charts. On the road, Scotty's own faith and others keep him grounded. Yeah, my goodness, well, it's been, uh, I guess, five years now since Idol, and, uh, you know, every day is a different day. You know, you wake up and... Uh, a uh, different city for me every day, you know, we're touring and, uh, you know, my faith has grown as well, uh, luckily. I'm not really home on Sundays anymore to go back to my home church. When I am, I try to get out there, but uh, it's it's kind of a rare occurrence nowadays. So, luckily for me, I've got a road crew and a band that's that's really kind of like-minded, really grounded in, in their faith as well. So, that helps me kind of uh, stray away from the temptations on the road that you hear about in the movies and the, and the songs and all sorts of stuff. We're touring and, uh, you know, my faith has grown as well. Now at just 22 years old, Scotty has released his first book, Go Big or Go Home, to share more about his idol journey and the faith that's so important to him. Yeah, you know, 22 years old, I'm writing a book. What in the world? What are you writing about? Uh, I've lived a pretty different, you know, 22 years than, than, than most kids my age. So, uh, you know, I've got an interesting perspective. I, I've, I've had to grow up really quick. Uh, I've learned a lot about the world. I, I got a long ways to go, but uh, at 22, I'm, I'm figuring things out that some folks might not get the chance to at this young of an age. I don't like the word autobiography, I like the word travelogue, uh, you know, just kind of uh, sharing my experiences and lessons I've learned through those experiences and, and hopefully, young or old, people can read this book and, and gain something from it. Yeah, you know, I think my main message through all of this is stay true to myself uh, and, and that's uh, the foundation I laid for myself before any of the fame came. Uh, stay true to yourself as a person, as a family man, uh, stick to your guns with your faith. My goal is just to, to be positive influence and be a light in this, this crazy world out there.